Good morning, scholars, and happy Friday. We made it one full week in e-learning. I'm so proud of you and all of your very, very hard work. Welcome to Read Aloud with Ms. Castle. I am so excited to read with you today, and I know that we're going to have a wonderful time together. Today is our very last day talking about the author of the week. What is her name, everyone? Yes, it's Melanie Watt. Yes, scholars, you are rocking it out this week. I am so proud of you. Melanie Watt. Today with Melanie on our last day, I wanted to do something a little more special with her. I wanted to take a look at all of the other illustrations that Melanie Watt has done in her books. We are going to see a little more characters, not just Chester, not just Scaredy. We're going to see some of the other illustrations she has done as well. Let's take a look. This is Augustine the Penguin, Leon the Chameleon, and this is actually a title in French because remember, fun fact, she speaks French because she's from Canada. You're finally here, and it's that adorable bunny with those super big eyeballs. <laughs> and then we have, have I got a book for you? He looks fun. He looks like a rat. And then we have that bunny again with those super big eyeballs. And we have Chester. And we have all of the characters by Melanie Watt all in a group picture together. And then we have Chester again with his bright red marker. He looks like a Superman in that picture, and I love it. So those are all of the different pictures of that Melanie has done. Look at how good of an artist she is that she drew all of them. Look at all of that hard work that she did. Beautiful. We're going to talk about a new emotion today. And this feeling word is something that we're going to see in the story. The word is surprise. Say surprised. Yes, scholars, surprised. What does it mean to be surprised? Look at their faces. What does it mean to be surprised? You're right. It's when something comes up without warning. So if you are doing something and then someone pops out in front of you, you get so surprised. Or maybe you really, really, really don't want to go to the doctor. And then you get surprised that you're not going to go. So sometimes a surprise can be a good thing. And sometimes a surprise can be a bad thing. It just depends on what happens to you once you get surprised. I have a sentence that can help us better understand what surprised means. Camille surprised me with a lollipop. That was a good surprise. I was so happy when she surprised me with a lollipop. Can you think of a bad surprise? We can go back to the doctor example. Maybe I was at school and then all of a sudden my mom came and got me. I didn't know why. And then she said, surprise, we're going to the doctor, and you're going to get a shot. That's not a good surprise. That makes me feel bad. I don't want to go get a shot at the doctor. I thought you were going to surprise me, maybe get me ice cream. But surprise me to get a shot? Ooh, that's a bad surprise. So remember, a surprise can be something good and something bad. Let's look at our four pictures again today and play our game and see if you can figure out which character is surprised. Which one is surprised? When you find it, point to it. I want to see if you can figure it out. Let's see. Let's see if you're right. Did you guess the girl with the glasses and the pink shirt? I did too. How did you know that she was the person that was surprised? How did you know she was surprised? Yeah, you saw her mouth. Her mouth is showing you that she is surprised. Her mouth is wide open because she's surprised. All the other people don't look surprised. Some look happy. Some look silly. And then some just look maybe like they're sleeping or very relaxed. But that girl with the circle around it, she's so surprised. Way to go figuring out which one was surprised. When we read our story today, I want you to think which characters get surprised and how do they get surprised. 
So right now, before anything, I want you to predict. What do you think is going to happen to our character? How do you think our character is going to get surprised? Predict or think. What's your guess of how our character is going to get surprised? This story is about Scaredy Squirrel going to his birthday party. So that might give you a really good idea. What kind of surprise do you think he's going to have in this story? Start thinking about that idea. I'm going to show you the story that we are going to be reading today together on the very last day while reading Scaredy Squirrel books by Melanie Watt. This story is Scaredy Squirrel has a birthday party. Say happy birthday, Scaredy Squirrel. We're going to read the story, and I'm so excited for you to see what happens during his birthday party, and we're going to see if our predictions about how he gets surprised are correct. Let's go. Warning. Scaredy Squirrel insists that everyone put on earmuffs before reading this book. Scaredy Squirrel never has big birthday parties. He'd rather celebrate alone quietly up in his tree than party below and risk being taken by surprise. A few things Scaredy Squirrel is afraid could spoil the party. Bigfoot, confetti, clownfish, ants, ponies, porcupines. So he plans a small celebration where he's the only life of the party. Top secret. Birthday party checklist. Confirm date of birth. Check. Pick a safe location. Check. Choose party colors. Check. Get tuxedo dry cleaned. Check. Prepare cake recipe. Check. Practice breathing. Check. To blow up the balloons and to blow out the candles. Mail party invitation to myself. Exhibit A, Exhibit B, Exhibit C, Exhibit D, Exhibit E, Exhibit F, Exhibit G. Scaredy Squirrel heads down to mail his invitation. He pauses when he spots a card tucked inside his mailbox. Aww. Roses are red, violets are blue. I just had to be the first to wish a happy birthday to you. Sincerely, Buddy. Scaredy gives it some thought. He decides that a kindly gesture deserves a kindly response. So he changes the invitation. Scaredy's Buddy, you're invited to Scaredy Squirrel's birthday party. But inviting a guest is one risky move. A few last-minute items Scaredy needs to throw a party at ground level. Safety goggles, carrot, deck of cards, earmuffs, cookies, Beethoven statue, rented party tent, fishing rod, birthday party of two plan. Bigfoot is a huge party crasher. Build a house of cards so he stomps on that instead of the tent. Ants are no picnic. They eat everything in their path. These party poopers will hit the road when they come across a tasty trail of cookies. Porcupines and balloons? Need I say more. If disaster pops up, think fast. Put on goggles and earmuffs. To avoid being taken for a ride, Attach a carrot to a fishing rod to lure away ponies. Clownfish have tricks up their sleeves and are no laughing matter. Humor them with a hard-headed guest who will never crack a smile. Note to self, if all else fails, play dead and cancel the party. Party was up here. Send invitation to Buddy on the fly. Woo! Party is moving down here. Confetti gets out of control. Keep it away by celebrating undercover. Important! The secret to a successful birthday 
It is all in the details. Detail number one. Select conversation topics for small talk. Good idea. How about that great weather we've been having? So, do you come here often? If you were a tree, what type of tree would you be? Bad idea. Before we shake paws, have you been checked for fleas? <laughs> they say mints help fight bad breath. Psh, be my guest. <laughs> Is that a muskrat on your head? Oops, it's a toupee. <laughs> Detail number two. Determine the do's and don'ts of partying. Do's are in green. Don't is in red. Don't eat too many sweets. Don't listen to loud music. Don't surprise the birthday squirrel. Don't spill anything. Don't play piñata games. Don't double dip. And don't break dance. But do sit quietly. Detail three, prepare a birthday party schedule. One o'clock p.m., serve punch. 101 p.m., look out for clownfish, ants, bigfoot, confetti, ponies, and porcupines. 103 p.m., serve dip. 106 p.m., brush teeth. 109 p.m., make small talk. 119 p.m., play a quiet game of dominoes. 124 p.m., look out for clownfish, ants, bigfoot, confetti, ponies, and porcupines. 126 p.m., locate fire extinguisher. 127 p.m. Bring out cake. 128 p.m. Take a deep breath and blow out candle. 129 p.m. Look out for clownfish, ants, bigfoot, confetti, ponies, and porcupines. 131 p.m. Eat cake. 1.35 p.m. Brush teeth. 1.38 p.m. Read thank you speech. 1.40 p.m. Look out for clownfish, ants, bigfoot, confetti, ponies, and porcupines. 1.42 p.m. Sit quietly. 2 o'clock p.m. The party's over. 2.01 p.m. Start planning next year's birthday. Step-by-step, step, Scaredy Squirrel carefully prepares for his birthday. Everything is perfect, right down to the last details. But at 1 o'clock p.m., surprise! Party animals appear. This was not part of the plan. How did Scaredy Squirrel just get surprised? What surprised him? Scaredy Squirrel panics! He scatters. He stops the music. He chases. He screams. He ducks. He freezes. And plays dead. 20 seconds later. Minutes later. Two hours later, Scaredy Squirrel finally opens his eyes. He sees that his birthday cake is lit and everyone is sitting quietly. Scaredy blows out his birthday candle. He forgets all about the clownfish, ants, Bigfoot, confetti, ponies, and porcupines. This party is going to be a piece of cake. Afterward, Scaredy Squirrel received something unexpected. Birthday present for me! Inside, Scaredy finds a special surprise. Elegant wood-finished frame. Heartwarming symbol of affection. 
puppy signatures. Some sort of purple, unidentified flying object thingy. Handsome squirrel portrait. Ooh, oak tree interpretation. Scaredy gives it some thought. He decides that a kindly gesture deserves a kindly response. So he changes next year's invitation. Scaredy's buddy plus all of the other puppies. You are invited to Scaredy Squirrel's birthday party for next year. Next year's birthday party checklist. Confirm date of birth. Rent larger party tent. Choose party colors. Dress casual. Bake bigger cake. Practice breathing to calm down. Shrink wrap everything. Buy dog biscuits. Put on sneakers. Wear top of the line earplugs. Buy toothbrushes in bulk. Get a frisbee. Install hand sanitizer dispensers. Rent porta potty. Prepare doggy bags. Memorize the speech. P.S. This birthday party left Scaredy Squirrel speechless. Thank you, speech. <laughs> Welcome back. Did you enjoy the story of Scaredy Squirrel has a birthday party? I did. I love birthday parties. Do you love birthday parties? I thought so. Did you get your prediction correct? Did you predict what was going to happen during Scary Squirrel's birthday party? Was it a good surprise or a bad surprise? You're right. At the beginning, Scary Squirrel felt like it was a bad surprise. He really did not want people to join his birthday party. But then at the end, he realized that the surprise was something good because next year he said he wanted to invite all of the puppies to his party too. I think that would be a great idea to have all of those puppies with him for his party next year. Well, that is the end of us reading all about Melanie Watt and Scaredy Squirrel. There's only one thing left I need you to do. I need you to click the link below, and then I need you to fill out the answers for Scaredy Squirrel Has a Birthday Party. Well, that is it, scholars. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday, and I will see you next week when we do another author to our author study. See you then. Love you all. Goodbye.